Good morning. Good afternoon and good evening. I think it was just. I am in here for now, and if we are sponsored by Nagi. <laughs> I know we are not sponsored by Nike, but we can manifest it. If we keep doing this, we could be manifested by Nike. Golly. God, get it together. Jesus. No, we're not responsible for Nike, but you, you can manifest it. If you believe it, you think it, it might just happen. You know what I'm saying? And we colored, we living in, we think we be brothered. Do, 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 do. Give me a high five. Cut and print. Yes, you said it. it's coming in, ladies and gentlemen. Afromania. Y'all. Let's get into it. Let's get right into it. I'm really late on this. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot today was Thursday. <laughs> right now we have the Chargers versus Raiders playing. Yes. There's night football. And let me tell you. I have the Raiders winning. The score scores right now as I checked was 7-10. So let's go Raiders. Bring in the W for your boy. Let me see. And for your city, Las Vegas. Uh, let's go right to it. Game two, Bills versus Broncos. We have the Bills winning that game. I chose the Bills to win because the Broncos are ass. They have nothing to play for, which the Bills really do. Clinch, I think they already clinch first place in the division. But if I was the Bills, I would still put that gas, put the gas on the pedal. You know what I'm saying? Ride that heat train all the way into your Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Don't let go for the gas because if you let go of the gas, something bad might happen. You heard? I'm to football wise. We're not talking about like driving wise. That'd be that'd be crazy. Um, game three, Panthers versus Packers. Packers is gonna win because they're a pass heavy team. Well, they could be well balanced if just get just if they run game is really good. But oh, 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 let me fix down the side there. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Oh, you probably say, where's your eyebrows at? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Oh, what do you say? Um, Panthers will lose this game because their secondary is trash. Their secondary is a beast. I would said a beast. That's crazy. Um, yeah, they, they, they don't play defense. Secondary, they can't cover a goddamn wide uh, receiver. Even if they try to. Um, last week, they've been exposed. Who did they play last week? I keep forgetting. Let me go to my notes. I think the Broncos. That's Clarence. And Broncos technically got like maybe two, one and a half wide receivers on that roster. That's actually good. So, the Packers now got Deontay Adams, who clearly shows this year that nobody can cover him. You know what I'm saying? No one. Me saying, um, he can catch the ball and he he's going to get open from his route running, and he's a fantastic route runner. And I don't see the Panthers stopping Devonta Adams. I don't see the Panthers defense defensive front getting to Aaron Rodgers. Me saying, so it's, it's, it should be a cook day. Me saying, should be. Next game, game four, Texans versus Colts. I chose the Colts, Texans. Already out of the playoffs, um, they have no chance. Um, so right now they are pretty much playing for pride. Colts still playing. I don't. They, I'm assuming they, should, they are behind the Titans. I think because Titans are number one in their division. So Colts could be playing. Um, Colts defense is gonna. Should abuse the Texans offense. Should. I'm talking about I'm seeing two picks, a lot of sacks, maybe and maybe one or two forced fumbles from the Colts. Texans. I don't know. You, you can't push you can't protect your franchise quarterback for shit. So he's always on a scramble. Uh, and that's where your key is. Uh, your defense is JJ Watts is not being I'm telling you he's he's gonna look for a competitive team. 
I'd be, I'd be shocked if he signs next year, but I, I don't see it happening. Um, so I'm going with the Colts. Um, Lions versus Titans. Lions do not close games out really like that. They're not consistent. They're like wishy-washy. So I'm going with the Titans. Like I said, you stop Derrick Henry, Mr. Android himself. Um, it gives Titan, it gives Ryan Tannehill to think. Like, hmm, I guess we gotta go pass if they stop the run. Now I'm saying, not saying they if they stop Derrick Henry, they they do stop by Derrick Henry's. Gives you a better chance of winning the game. You don't stop Derrick Henry. I say you got about eighty-eight percent chance of losing that game. Yes, sir. And teams has that stopped Derrick Henry has actually won that games. Sadly, but that's true. You know what I'm saying, but uh, let's get right into it. Number six: Bears versus Vikings. Ooh, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. I cho I wanted to choose. I was gonna go for the Bears, but as quarterback Mike Mitch Trubisky. Is not a consistent quarterback. He he looked fantastic last week, but against the Vikings, I don't see it happening. I don't see that happening. They have the Vikings has a okay offense, a defense. It's okay. It's so okay that they can confuse the Bears' the offense. Michigan, but she's still trash to me. Um, but. I'm taking the Vikings on the win here. Um, if they lose, I won't be surprised. I'm just, I'm just like, okay. Okay. Whatever. I don't care. Music. <laughs> um, seven. I'm going with the Vikings. I want to go with the Bears. But Nick Trubisky now. Uh, as a quarterback. They're not really playing for nothing either, Bears. They, they're always off the playoffs. Um, Seahawks versus Washington, whatever's. I'm going with the Seahawks. Quote me on this sleeper game. Sleeper game. Seahawks have been playing fantastic football. I mean, Washington, been past, the past three games, fantastic football. Seahawks, on and off. Don't sleep on the watch. Do come in the game and sleep on the watch the whatever's. They beat the Steelers. They just finished beating the, um, how did they just beat last week? The 49ers. Alright? Don't sleep on them. Don't not sleep on them. Especially if Alex Smith is playing. Don't sleep on the watch the whatever. Technically, you shouldn't be sleeping on no team, technically. But don't sleep on Washington. Seahawks, you better come up and play Russell Wilson, the offensive line. Let me say, come out strong. And you you beat the Seahawks, the Washington. If you keep lagging, daggling, and having them play with them like they like, they will come out surprised and take a double right underneath your legs. And <laughs> so, let that sink in. Say, you know what I'm saying? Let that say Seahawks. Go with the Seahawks. Come up playing football. Come up playing football. All right, game eight. Patriots versus Dolphins. Go with the Dolphins. That's just because the Dolphins' defense underrated. Time after time, what they did with Patrick Mahomes last week, confidence boost. Put the Dolphins' defense on the map even more for the season. Patriots, I don't see it though. Can't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't see Cam Newton doing nothing against this Dolphins' defense. Um, if you establish the run list, then you might have some openness for him. But Dolphins defense is very solid. Which makes it really easy for that rookie quarterback. So uh, Yeah. That's correct. Um Jaguars versus Ravens. Ravens. And oh, Ravens do not overlook the great Jaguars because they're trash. Ravens. Again, you came off a hot, amazing game. Probably like the second game, exciting game for this season. The first was with the, the Bills versus Cardinals games with Kyle Murray doing the Hail Mary to um, Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Hopkins. 
So let's think about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't don't to make the team right here. Ravens keep you need all the wins you can get just to get into the playoffs. You know what I'm saying because you're behind. So who's in your division? Steelers, Browns, Danielle. Then whoever's in your division is last. Bengals. So I wouldn't. Is it Bengals? I'm thinking it's Bengals. Don't don't fuck around. Don't do it. You need to beat these teams. You need you need all wins for the rest of the season. That's how I feel like it. Just to be safe. So I'm going with the Ravens in game nine. It's game ten. Buccaneers versus Falcons. I'm going with the Bucks. I don't want to go with the Bucks because Tom Brady's on that team, but Falcons, you disappointed me last week, so um Nah. Mm -mm. Okay, I don't want to see. Mm -mm. Is there a slim chance the Falcons will win that game? Probably. Probably, but. Slip. So, Bucks, let's go get that W. Let me say 49ers versus Cowboys. I chose. That's game 11. I chose the 49ers. Cow Puss. I just made that up. <laughs> Cow's puss. Well, technically, aka Cowboys. Nah. Nah. 49ers. That's all I gotta say. I don't. I don't see. Nah, I'm going with 49ers. They play good. They play good food. I don't know. Eagles versus Cardinals. Game 12. Jalen Hurts. It's going to be a tough matchup for you because of the Cardinals. Now, you did have a confidence boost. I'm talking about all the old damn head confidence boost. Um, being the Saints. Even though it's Tyson Hill's as quarterback. I still went over the Saints because the Saints defense was playing like absolutely trash last week. But I'm going with the Cardinals. I don't know why. It's just my gut's telling me Cardinals are going to win that game. Um, Two birds are playing. Eagles, Cardinals. Um, let's see who's going to be the most dominant bird this week. Dominant bird, <laughs> an eagle or a cardinal? Is that hilarious? Jets versus Rams. O and sixteen. Sixteen. O and sixteen. Let's go Rams. I'm not. I'm not playing with you. Jets. Don't even show up. Don't even come out the tunnel. How about that one? Don't even come out the tunnel. Don't even come out the tunnel. We like Lamar Jackson. We had the boo boo. All of us had boo boo. So we can't come out because we have the boo boo. We got to take a doodle -doo break. We already ass. So let's take the shit and not come out. Because we already shit. There you go. You see what I did there? Come on, Estes. Estes, bless me. I don't know. Um, so I'm going with the Rams. I want Jets to be 0-16. Not because we should deserve the first pick. No. That's not why. Because we deserve to be 0-16 this year because we are absolutely trash. And having an 0-16 record should get of us all of people that we need to get rid of. Front office. Head coach. Offensive coordinator. Apparently we just got rid of defensive coordinator last week, Monday. Um... So, <sighs> so that's what I'm going with. I'm gonna keep saying it every week. Rams do not lose to us because if you do, you're trash. Game 14, Chiefs versus Saints. <sighs> I will probably say this is game of the week. 
is a testament of both teams because both teams did play trash last week. Um, and this is a bounce back game from each team. It's like the Steelers versus Bills game. Both teams have winning records. But both teams been playing like shit last week. So it's like, even though one team won and the other team didn't, it's like, I need to improve type game to me looking going forward to the playoffs. And I choose the Chiefs just because they have more explosive players on their team. That's the only reason why I say Now, if Drew Brees come back on the Saints this week, that's a different story. But I'm still going with the Chiefs on this one. Game of the week. Game of the week. So you got Sunday night football. 820. Sunday night. You got the Browns versus Giants. I chose the damn Browns. I hate both teams. I do not like both. I do not like either team. Um, but I'm going with the Browns because... I don't see Giants beating the Browns. Overall, the Giants are not going to stop Kareem Hunt or Dick Chubb. Um, even though if they put if they hold down Baker Mayfield, ugh, they'll hold him down and keep him in check. They'll be fine with the run game. Um, it's just like that two duo in the backfield is going to give. Huge confidence boost for the Browns. I'm just saying. That's they that's they bread and butter, if you could say that. Bread and butter. Yeah, Waller. Baker Mayfield's good. No, he's good because he has two great running backs that helps him him in the passing game. Play action pass. play action to a rollout. It's easy because when you play action, you got Nick Trouble, Kareem Hunt in the backfield. You're gonna, they're going to play run before they play pass. Come on now. Don't get overhyped with this man. Don't get overhyped. If he goes to the playoffs, you, you he will be exposed. Just let me know it. We have Monday Night Football, which is going to be the most boring game you're going to ever see. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I think boring, but yeah, yeah, it's boring. They're like, ugh. Steelers versus Bengals, Monday football. I'm going with the Steelers because Bengals are just straight butt cheeks. Straight as AJ Green, get yourself out of that team. Um Yeah, Bengals is ass. Steelers. If you overlook your competition once again, like you did to the damn Washington whatever, and lose to the Bengals and then lose three games straight. That shit gonna look bad on your organization. And your so called almost perfect season. So. That's terrible, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, let's go week 15. Let's go with Thursday Night Football. That's playing right now. Chargers versus Raiders. I chose the Raiders. Game 2, Bills versus Broncos. I chose the Bills. Game 3, Panthers versus Packers. I chose the Packers. Game 4, I chose. It's Texans versus Colts. Chose the Colts. Game five. Lions versus Titans. I chose the Titans. Game six. Bears versus Vikings. I chose the Vikings. Seven. Seahawks versus Washington. Where is it? Do it is. I chose the damn Seahawks. Patriots versus Dolphins. Dolphins, baby. Jaguars versus Ravens. Game eight, nine. I chose the Ravens. Game 10, Bucks versus Falcons, Buccaneers. Game 11, 49ers versus Cowpuss, a.k.a. Cowboys. It's not Cowboys, a.k.a. Cowpuss. No, they start with Puss first to boys. You know what I'm saying? Because they've been playing like Puss this week. Well, this whole season. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going with the 49ers, though. Um, Eagles versus Cardinals. Cardinals. Jets versus Rams. Obviously, the Rams. Um, Chiefs versus Saints. Chiefs. Sunday night football, Browns versus Giants. We're going with the Browns. And then 
Monday Night Football, Steelers versus Bengals. And that is my prediction of week 15. Stay tuned. Hope you enjoy this week and hope you enjoy your day as well today. Um, the week is coming up, man. Football's almost time. But you know what's starting up? NBA. I hope you're watching our preseason games. Um, stay tuned to those. Watch it. Watch these tread deadlines. What's going on? Because I mean, it's going to be shocking this year. Um, anyway, keep watching football. Keep tuning into this. Um, I love y'all. Stay safe. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. And it's your boy, KP. Go to the moon. Oh, wait, that was weird. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Bang, bang. It's your boy. What's that? Super Saiyan powers. That was fire. Oh, yeah. I'm salsa dancing. If you didn't really know that, I can do that. I can do that. Because the hips don't lie. Oh.